Hi there, friends. This is Simone or Simone, and I share my love for fountain pens and paper here on YouTube and Instagram. Today, I want to share my currently inked fountain pens with you. My plan is to use them throughout the months of May and June um, until I'm settled in the new place because I am moving, in case you didn't know. Not sure that is actually going to happen. Not the moving, the keeping the fountain pens in this format that I'm showing you this right now, because I already have some uh, things that I don't like about the pens or combinations or so. Um, I'm using this Rickshaw Sinclair. That's basically the only pen case I have left out of my boxes. So this is what I'm using. I have a total of 10 pens that I inked with colors that I all received in a um, happy mail from my friend Casey. Um, if you want to see the video where I swatched these inks, it's linked up in the cards. And I will also link the, um, <clears throat> the pen and ink choice video where I told you why I'm choosing which ink for what pen um, in the description box below. Um, I, I, I wanted to use all of those colors together because I really, really liked the color story they told. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's what I based my, my whole um, fountain pen picking experience on. And, and the video you can see in the description box down below. Um, before I start swatching all the pens and telling telling you about them a tiny bit more, I just want to mention my setup for my currently inked. I have a traveler's notebook cover that I made myself in a personal size. Um, and I have three notebooks in here. Uh, the, this one is an MD B6 slim notebook. This one is a um, Cosmo Aero Light from Paper Penguin Co. And this one is a Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM, also from Paper Penguin Co. I have uh, taken apart the really fat notebook and split it into two and made my own, put my own cover on it. But the original one is from Paper Penguin Co. Um, I usually swatch them on the 52 GSM paper and then whenever I have time throughout the month, I fill in the other two notebooks just to see what the inks look like on there. And sometimes when I do this before I publish the video, I will show some uh, close up, close ups of these two notebooks at the end of the swatching process. So what do we have? We have, I'm going to write May. And I'm trying to practice the um, brush leather lettering, but I'm I'm so bad with this. Twenty twenty three, and then I can still add the end June at the end when I'm actually done. I sorted the colors in a Simone rainbow. Um, this is not. The Newton in rainbow. This is my way of sorting according to a pseudo rainbow. And well, before I start opening and swatching, <clears throat> the first pen that I have here is the Lamy All Star with a 1.1 stub nib. I received this pen in January of this year. Uh, with an extra fine nib and I have this in my stash this nib so I put it on there because this pen is basically the only Lamy pen that I still have I have one more which is my old um, um, pen that I used when I was still in high school and I decided that I would um, retire that and just keep it for memory sake. Um, what else is there to tell you about this? This is a cartridge converter fountain pen. Lamy uses proprietary cartridges 
um, and converters. So this is just a regular converter. And um, I told you when I added it to my collection this January, January 2023, um, but I do know Lamy pens f since I went to high school, so they are not so anything new. I know that I like the writing comfort, and I've been dabbling in the grip width of um, pens and how that affects my writing comfort. And interestingly enough, maybe be it's because I'm so used to this, I really enjoy this grip section, which I know that I'm... I know many people complain about the way these... Lamy pens force you to hold the pen a certain way. It works for me. I enjoy it. It's very um, relaxing on my grip. <clears throat> Maybe because it's indented and it doesn't go anywhere. So this is the Lamy AL All Star Bronze with a 1.1 stub. Uh, the color is Colorverse Space Leica. Is there anything else to tell you about this? I have had it inked one time previously to this, so we will see how this works. The next pen is, now where did I put, where did I put this pen? ink what pen am i using with this ink i think i should have prepared better because i don't even remember i haven't i had i inked them up i have written with maybe two or three of them yet but i i really want to film this without a lot of uh, knowledge behind all of those combinations um and i'm already starting without talking about the pen so this is uh the kaweko no, actually, let me pronounce it the way that a German would, because I am German. The Caveco AL Sport uh, Golden Espresso. It is an aluminum pen, um, has a medium nib. I purchased this one in December of 2021. Um, it has a very small nib. The grip section is very uh, tiny. Based on my comfort level, level uh, section, the filling mechanism, again, is a cartridge converter filling mechanism. I am using the uh, Caveco converter because it is actually um, very good works really well with the way that I'm using my fountain pens. Um, this ensures that I can actually write this pen dry. Since I do have 10 pens inked mostly, um, this month at least, or always this amount of pens inked, and if I'm uh, using them for one month, then I'm not able to write these pens dry. Okay, so let me write Caveco. A L Sport Sport. Okay, that's not right. Sport Golden Espresso with a medium nib. And the ink that is in here is Mont Blanc James Purdy and Sons single malt it actually smells like whiskey but it's not i don't necessarily enjoy it and it only so if i write with it down here i cannot smell it it only smells when if i put the nib uh, to my nose and it's not really it doesn't interfere with my writing at all seems pretty wet though. Next one is Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea. In this Jinhao X159, I purchased this one in, I think, November of 2022. I had, have, 
think I had it inked once or twice since then. Um, I'm not sure that this is a, a favorite pen. So it, it has another chance right now to wow me. But um, the main reason why I uh, inked this up is because of the wide grip section. Um, because I want to experiment if there is like I am experiencing right now with grip sections that are really narrow. I want to know if there is an upper limit as well to how comfortable those are. It's black and it is a fine nib and the ink that is in here is dominant industry earl gray tea this is another one of those pens that i'm not sure will stay then i have had several bad experiences with twisbees in the recent two weeks so I'm really ready to just <clears throat> step away from the brand as a total thing. I might still uh, stick with Twisby Minis, but all other Twisbees, oh, Twisby Minis and Goes, but all other Twisbees, um, once they are uh, broken, I will not replace. All right, so this is the Twisby Eco in white. It has a 1.1 stop nib. Um, a YouTube subscriber sent this pen to me um, because I said I wanted to try a 1.1 stop nib and she said she didn't need it anymore. So she sent it over. I had it inked twice. I really need to make, <laughs> to write these things down. I think I had it inked once before. So as I mentioned in the previous video the more pens I have and the more I rotate through them um, the fewer the individual pen gets inked up and so it takes a long time to actually understand well besides do I like the comfort of holding and writing with a pen do I like this nib so this is inked with Birmingham Penco Horseradish Mustard. And I have to say that I, Twisby, Eco, uh, White. It's also a 1.1 stub nib. It looks like it's either the ink is more flowy and wet than this one. It looks broader than the 1.1 stub Lamy. Um, I'm just going to. Uh, abbreviate Birmingham Penco, a uh, horse radish. Radish. I cannot talk and write at the same time. You might have realized if you've been watching these videos. Um, I liked the swatch more than I actually like the color coming out of the pen. So, yep, we will see how that how that is going to develop. Then. Um, the next one that I have inked is um, this Pilot Custom 823. This was another gift from a viewer. Um, it has a medium 14K gold nib. All of the other pens that I have shown you previously are steel nibbed pens. Um, this entered my collection in March of 2020, end of March of 2023. So um, <clears throat> this is the second time that it is inked. Um, the filling mechanism is a vacuum filling pen. That means that you uh, have a rod in here and you fill the whole barrel by uh, creating a vacuum and then sucking up lots of ink. And this fill is pretty full. But that is very okay with me because I really like this pen and I also really like the ink color. Um, so this is the Pilot Custom 823 uh, Amber 
with a medium nib. Let me put 14K here. Um, I think this is the only gold nib fountain pen that I have inked this month. And then this ink is Kobe number 34. Su Ra Quen Green Tea. I hope I'm pronouncing the Su Ra Quen correctly. Um, this ink is really lovely. I have to say, I think Casey sent this to me and told me that she really wanted me to try it because it's one of her favorites. I can clearly see why that is the case. Um, the next pen that I have inked is this Twisby Go. Um, it has a medium nib. I added this pen in December of 2022. I wanted to have a pen that I... Um, well, first of all, I wanted to try this pen, but I also wanted a pen that I could easily clean with uh, and use with shimmer inks and not have to worry about breaking the section. This material is different to the Twisby Eco material on the grip section. And it, it, my guess, my hope is that it doesn't crack as easily because it's feels like it has, is more soft. Um, and I haven't written with this in since I inked it up. So we'll see how the clogging is. It shouldn't really clog. Um, this is the Twisby Go. Go Cle clear. That's, that's clear. And then the nib is a medium nib. You can clearly see a tendency I enjoy. Medium nibs are my comfort zone. The ink that I have in here is Troublemaker Butterfly Dream. Um, the shimmer on this is purple, I think. There is no shimmer in this writing sample, I think. Let me show you. And I really want to see what it looks like in writing, but obviously I'm not very uh, good at agitating the ink and getting it into the feed to write. I hope when I make a really full long forum journaling session that I will be able to see that. Um, this is again a steel nib. This is a number five size nib. However, the grip section is pretty um, wide. I think it's geared towards beginners and so it has this also dry triangular grip. Very comfortable. Um, so I'm, I really like that pen. Next one is Pelican Edelstein Appetite in my newest acquisition. This is the Monte Grappa, Monte Grappa. Elmo um, Marshmallow. It is an exclusive with Goulet pens. I also purchased this in a medium nib. This is a steel nibbed fountain pen. I have an unboxing of this and first impressions video on my channel. You can see that. I think I have several of these pens. The Jin Hao, there's a video for the Jin Hao for the Pilot Custom A23 and the Twisby Go, as well as the Monte Grappa. I will put them in cards if I can, or you can just search my channel and find them. I have a playlist with all new pen video, pen day videos. Um, I bought this because my friend Sarah from Ginger Peachy Stationery has an older version of this and I really liked the acrylic body design. Um, that is the only reason why I got it. And I actually have to say that I am quite impressed. And um, I compared the measurements of this with the Estabrook Esti and it was very, very similar. And so um, I knew going in that 
the writing comfort would be either very similar or even the same. And since this is a Yovo number no. 6 steel nib, I can easily exchange the whole section for a different nib if I wanted to. Okay, so let me write. This is the Monte Grappa Elmo in Marshmallow. I think there's not enough things here, but we don't really care. It is inked with Pelikan, Edelstein, Edelstein, actually, if we want to be German. Appetite. Um, yeah, so I, I very much like this pen. It doesn't, as you can see, I do not match up ink and pen colors. I wanted an ink that I assumed was quite normal in its behavior so that I would have a, a normal writing experience and wouldn't be um, put off this pen by having a super dry or super wet ink in it and um, not enjoying the writing, which works really well. Um, this is obviously the first time that I have inked this pen and so far is working really well. I keep this because it's the most expensive pen that I have in my collection in this rickshaw um, sleeve just to make sure it's protected. Um, Robert Oster Morning Mist is in this pen. Uh, this is the Bennu Euphoria uh, Jazz. I really love this pen. I purchased this in November of 2022 for um, Black Friday. And I had, I inked it up the first time in February of 2023 because this was my birthday pen. I was not impressed with the first inking of this. Um, the, uh, no, it's just still wet from rinsing the cap. Um, the fine nib was a little bit scratchy, but I was able to um, redeem this really quickly. And since then, the nib has become one of my favorites. And I really love the size of this pen. It feels really nice in my hand. I actually sold my Benu Talisman because I enjoy the Euphoria more. Um, okay, so this is the Benu Euphoria. It's a super wet pen, Euphoria, and the model is Jazz. With a fine nib. It's a number six steel nib, and this nib is a Schmidt nib. Um, the other nib, steel nibs, besides the Lamy, are all... I'm not sure about the Caveco, but the... Twisby Ecos all use Yovo nibs. The Monte Grappa has a Yovo nib and the Benu has a Schmidt nib. Robert Oster Morning Mist. And the next one here, I have inked this Platinum 3776 Century in Laurel Green. I purchased this, I think, also in November of 2022 or October. That was a very um, fountain pen accumulating uh, time. Um, I bought this from Amazon for a really good price. That's why I got it when I got it. It has a 14K medium nib, so this is not... The Custom A23 is not the only pen that has a gold nib. Uh, I have unfortunately put a lot of um, dry inks into this pens, pen in the recent months. And I wanted to redeem this pen with a really wet ink so that I would just feel a different, have a different uh, experience. And it definitely worked for now. 
I will tell you more about this in my review at the end of the, maybe at the end of June. Not sure when I'm going to, no, this is wrong. This is the ink. Platinum. Okay, um, I actually prefer this pen posted. It's one of the few pens that I post. Like the Montegrappa, I think I like that posted as well. It does not make it back heavy. Birmingham Pen Company. And the color is cold steel. It definitely is a much wet wetter writing experience and um, it definitely helped me helped me see that if I put the right ink into this pen I really really enjoy writing with it even though it is much harder um, than the custom 823 gold nib all right the very last pen that I have inked is this Twisby VAC 700R Iris. Um, this is a pen that I already know that I'm going to let go because I don't I I don't know why, but I grip this, I death grip this, and it hurts when I write with it. Like not the fingers or anything or the pen in my hand, my arm hurts when I write with this. Um, it has a bigger nib size than the other uh, Twisby pens that I have in my collection. This is a number six Yovo nib. Um, I love how the pen looks. I love the filling mechanism. This is again a vac filling fountain pen. Um, I added this to my collection in December of 2021. Um, I had it inked quite often in the beginning half of 2022. But then I didn't ink it up much because I got so many new fountain pens that I wanted to use. So this is a really nice um, flashback and memory of why I actually really like this pen. And I'm pretty sad to, that sounds bad, Twisby VAC 700R Iris iris why i have to let it go i am just at a point in my fountain pen journey where i'm just letting go of pens that i are not do not provide the writing comfort that i prefer and the ink that is in here is papier plume desire which is a really lovely ink to be I, I really like that. So, um, yeah, I I do not have my pen box here. I am moving in June and the pen boxes are already at the new place. So it will take a while until I list this, but until then I will use it and see maybe if I change my mind. But this for sure is leaving my collection. So this is all the pens and inks that I have for 20, the months of May and June 2023. Let me know what's your favorite um, combination, which one is your, which one would you like to try uh, most? I, I love the colors for sure. I am curious to write with all of the pens. I do see a tendency, tendency uh, where I I can see myself um, letting go of quite a few pens again at the end of this rotation, which feels really uh, weird and good at the same time. Um, yeah, I hope to see you soon and um, I'd love to chat with you in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe it's that red button down there um, i am sharing fountain pen ink videos regularly mostly two times a week wednesday and saturday um, i 
am an affiliate with Atlas Stationers and I have a really exciting uh, plan, but I still need to collect some more funds over there. But when that happens, I will let you know. Um, it's related to a giveaway. Um, if you purchase from their their shop and you use my code, which is Simone10, S-I-M-O-N-E, one zero, you will receive 10% off uh, your purchase. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that not all brands uh, allow uh, discounts. So for instance, Twisby or Estabrook will not be in that um, realm. But what I noticed is Traveler's Company does allow for the 10% discount and they you can um, sign up for restock notifications for the Olive Traveler's Notebook. So, yeah, um, I do have a Kofi where I also <laughs> accept donations. And if you don't want to do any of those things, that's totally fine. You watching this is, is basically all I can ask for. I love to chat in the comments down below. And, you know, if you like this video, that's help enough because then my video gets seen by more people and this is the longest outro that i have filmed in the history of this channel so i'm gonna stop right now and see you soon bye